Hey everyone, hi, this is Dr. Namrata Bharatwaj. I am doing MD Psychiatry from Ames Rishikesh. And uh, I'll be talking about eating disorder. A very brief discussion, it will be just to sensitize you guys with the terminologies and basically to get your MCQs done. The first disorder on this line is anorexia nervosa. Anorexia is a Greek term for loss of appetite and nervosa simply implies its nervous origin. Uh, it is not as the name su suggests, it's a misnomer as the appetite is absolutely normal in these patients. Okay. And it is uh, much more common in female, that is 10 to 20 times more common in female than males. These patients are uh, having drastically under they are, they are drastically underweight and uh, to understand the crux of the disease you need to understand these three points that is self-induced starvation these patients have uh, morbid fear of gaining weight so they are preoccupied with bodily image and uh, uh, there are medical complications due to self-induced starvation it is of two types Avoidant type in which uh, there's a peculiar pattern of food handling. So they avoid normal diet. And uh, the second type is binge type in which uh, there's a binge eating followed by post binge anguish followed by compensation. Uh, the common medical problems are dental caries, parotid abscess, uh, which is primarily due to self induced vomiting aminoria which was there in the diagnostic criteria but has been removed from uh, recent dsm-5 and uh, osteoporosis due to decrease in bone marrow density and hypothyroidism due to decreased levels of t3 t4 in the blood uh, the next disorder is bulimia nervosa bulimia is a term for ox hunger so in these patients there is a binge eating followed by post binge anguish followed by compensation there is no avoidance and they typically maintain normal weight so these are the two points to uh, basically differentiate it from the anorexia nervosa these patients have normal weight and there's something called bulimia stigmata which is a sign of excessive vomiting uh, you need to remember these two chipmunk faces and rusal signs which is bulimia stigmata for MCU point of view.